cleaning procedures. The contamination removal process for hydraulic hoses and tubes just got a whole lot easier and less expensive thanks to ultra-clean technologies. The first step in contamination removal is to make sure that you have a filtered and regulated air or inert gas source. We strongly suggest a 1 half inch NPT regulator with gauge and a 5 micron air filter to ensure clean, dry air. Dirty, moisture-laden air will defeat the cleaning process by recontaminating your assemblies. Be sure to keep your shop and hose assembly areas clean at all times and always wear safety glasses. When a hydraulic hose is cut with either a metal blade or abrasive wheel, a tremendous amount of heat is generated, along with rubber dust and metal particles. Some of this contamination will stick to the hose tube as it cools. It is vitally important to clean the hose immediately after the cutting process. Connect your ultra-clean launcher and full-flow quick disconnect to a filtered and regulated air source. Load the recommended nozzle and ultra-clean projectile into the launcher's faceplate. Nozzle and projectile sizing charts for hose, hose assemblies, tubing, and pipe are supplied with each unit along with our recommended cleaning procedures. Now, close the faceplate of the launcher. The safety release bar will lock it into position. Insert the nozzle into the hose. Secure the other end of the hose into the containment barrel or catcher bucket. Depress the trigger until the projectile has exited the opposite end of the hose. Wipe the end of the nozzle clean and repeat this process now through the other end of the hose. The ultra-clean projectile strips out the internal contamination as it travels through the hose and around bends, forcing the contamination out in front of it. When crimping or swaging the end connections onto the hose, do not lubricate the stem of the fitting with lubricants that are not compatible with your customer's hydraulic fluid. This would recontaminate the hose you're cleaning. Use lubricants sparingly and start above the end of the stem. The crimping or swaging process causes stem deformation to achieve the proper coupling retention. Internal metal flash contamination will occur, and it must be removed. A third and final projectile must be fired through the entire assembly to finish the cleaning procedure. You should now use UltraClean's Clean Seal capsules to ensure that the assembly stays clean and contamination free. Slide the correct size Clean Seal capsule over the end fitting. Place the Clean Seal capsule against the white plunger and push in. If using the UltraClean HL1910E heat gun, move the capped hose end inside of the diffuser. A complete seal takes place in less than two seconds. The assembly is now cleaned and protected from contamination. Tube assemblies should also be cleaned to remove metal particles and other contaminants. Before you clean the tube assembly, you should always deburr each end of the tube. Make your bends and flare the end of the tube if required. You should always fire the projectiles from the same end because the JIC and tube nozzle will clean the entire length. If rust or oxidation is present on the inner surface, you may need to use our abrasive projectiles until it is removed. The final projectile through the tube should be an ultra-clean projectile. Repeat the capping process when you're finished cleaning. This Oil Pure Technologies independent report shows that we can achieve ISO 1310 cleanliness levels when using ultra-clean projectiles and our recommended cleaning procedures. 1310 ISO levels may not be achievable in all hose sizes, styles, and lengths. For more questions about ultra-clean product procedures, please call or email one of our product specialists today.